Good day everyone. Today on the bench I'm going to tie you up a red and black Cadillac. Here's a little uh, chronomid. I've seen this style many good tires on uh, social media right now. Facebook buddies are tying up a lot of really cool chronomids these days and uh, one I made a mention it was a kind of a copper and red or whatever. It was a beautiful color and I said that's a real Cadillac so that's what he dubbed it. And I think it was I, I don't know if it was Trevor or Bob or Rick or one of them guys, but there, there's lots of good tires out there that deserve a mention. Anyway, uh, this one's so easy I can even tie it. To start this uh, fly, we're going to use a 200 uh, Tiemco 200R, size 14. I'm going to use a white 332nd bead on the front. In behind the bead, I'm going to use some 15 thou lead wire. And also for the ribbing, we're going to use some extra fine red soft wire. You can use small extra, and this is extra small um, silver wire. We're going to have a double rib on here. Uh, it's a great, great idea that uh, someone's come over with those double rib. It really gives a nice accent. Use some rusty uh, brown thread. And the secret little weapon nowadays for chronomids is this window tint. This is, comes to me from uh, Crony Cuts out of Maple Ridge, B.C., a guy by the name of Byron Johns. And they've got all colors of this, smoke, anti-static bag, um, dirty olive coming out, mirror. There's all kinds of colors that'll go with any imaginable combination you want to make out there. So you look them guys up, and they're also going to have it available at Hatch Master Fly and Tackle at Maple Ridge, too. So you can find it there. Great, great material for the chronomids. I was quite intrigued when I seen so many of those nice flies coming out with that window tint and I figured I'd better get me some of that. So it uh, it works really, really well. Also, uh, one of my materials I forgot to tell you about is my color. I'm going to use some red stretch floss. I like the stretch floss for the bodies and a lot of my chronomids. And you can wrap it down super tight. So I'll get my thread started in behind the, the lead here. I've put about seven turns or so of that um, lead wire on there. Take a, some of my red wire. Where's my copper or my silver wire? I'll find some of that. I'm cutting me a little bit off here. I had some laying here. I don't know where it went. And tie everything in just behind the, the lead. Then I'll have a clip of my crony cuts. Tie it along the shank here as well. Get it started. I just get everything kind of started at one time, then I can go back instead of tying every every product separate, I come back, I do it all one time. I find that helps me keep the, my body thin. And I want to make sure this transition here from the lid to the body is fairly smooth. There, it's wanting to come over by itself. I'm good. So I have hitch on here. You can hand over hand this if you want. I'm just going to use, make it a little quicker. I use my Rotary vise, get my wire out of the way there, and then I can just turn my, this is red floss, but when it's going over top of that black, it takes on a different coloration again, it's almost maroon back there. It's getting a little brighter up here now because it's on the silver, and uh, might be a little bit backwards, a lot of times you want the bright red at the bottom, but uh, it's still a nice color. It's kind of a, a maroon instead of a red pattern when you're done. So I have a good taper. I'll come in here and get this all straightened around, get it all in order. There we go. Now I'll get the uh, wire out of my way, make some nice equal turns with my crony cuts. Wow, that is just nice, beautiful material. And 
window tint cut to 75 millimeters, 0.75 millimeter thick on these small flies works good. Now we'll come in the front of the black with the silver wire. I want to hand twist this, make sure you get it right on the right on the edge of that crony cuts. Gives it a really nice accent. Whoever come up with that idea, I sure like it. And this one, red wire is going to come in behind. Follow just in behind the black all the way up. And this is shiny, like I don't put any UV or any nail polish or anything on this. It's pretty durable uh, materials in my opinion and I think it's going to fish just fine. You can put your epoxy on there if you like. I'm going to give it a couple nice whip finishes here with the uh, rusty brown. Just got a little bit of... I want to cover that. There it is. Just had a little bit peeking through there. So you can put a little drop of head cement on that thread there if you want. But it's a, it's a nice easy little fly to tie for sure. It's a, kind of a deep red. More maroon color now. But it's got a great uh, sheen to it. So there it is. Red and black Cadillac. Kind of an offshoot from the snow cone for sure. But uh, Pretty fancy, it looks good. I know the fish are going to like this one. I sure like what it looks like on the vise, and I don't think it'll disappoint anybody in the water either. So, all the best. Thanks for watching uh, Sports Fishing on the Fly on the Bench, and we'll catch you again real soon. Thanks for watching.